Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies, and we're going to look at the 2020 CBE Vertex Sight. New for CBE, it's replacing the old Vertex Sight, so you can't get the old Vertex Sight anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the old Vertex Sight and show you the new one, and then I'm going to compare an equivalent product to the market. So to start off with, I'm going to show you the Vertex Sight I've been using, so you can see the difference. Okay, so this is the Vertex Sight. This has been on the market for a, for a, ages. It came in red, purple, blue, black, I think that's the colours, left and right handed. Um, basically I had no way of moving this down quickly. Um, you had to use this system here and at the time when I reviewed this site I said well for someone shooting field archery the, ch the, the time taken to adjust that's not very good. Now the other point I'm going to make with this site is if you want to change your scope, let's say you've got a scope for indoor, or let's say you're shooting clout archery and you want to change your scope or just want to change your scope uh, for different situations you might have one for field one for target it doesn't have a quick disconnect here to change your um, site now I've been using this site so I can tell you a little bit about it um, you've got the sc scale on the side here on this side here you can see my mark well I've got a mark in there that's the 50 and that's my 10 now on the side here you can actually bolt a sight tape on I haven't got that far yet but what I found when I was adjusting this, you've got a little tension thing here, it actually moves pretty quick from 10 to 10 to 50. Um, so that's 18 to 50, like really quick. I, to me, that's like really, really quick um, to adjust it and not as painful as I thought it, thought it would be to make that adjustment. The wind has got a little locking nut there. It kind of fits on a barrel. I kind of was a bit worried I was going to run out of distance on the side there. But overall, I was pretty happy with the overall um, sight. I think it looked nice. I think it looked nice on the bow. And the price point was good. It was cheaper than the XL. About the same sort of price as a um, Shibuya. Maybe a little bit cheaper than the Shibuya sight. But overall, I was pretty happy with the way it locked onto the bow. Um, and so far... I've been shooting it now for about um, a month and nothing's come loose. It's really been, uh, it's been a good sight. I've been happy with it. So as soon as I put this on my bow to test it out, CBE said, heck, we're not going to make this anymore. Let's produce a new sight. So basically the sight I've got on my bow now becomes obsolete because I can't sell it anymore. And when I say I can't sell it, selling secondhand target sites is easy. It's just in a shop situation, I now can't sell that site because they don't make it anymore. So that leads me into the new site. This is the Vertex Elevate. Same box as it came in before. And let's just open it up. So the first thing I'm going to say is it only comes in black. And I think that's a huge disappointment. Target archers like colour, sometimes they want to bling their bow up with red, sometimes they bling it up with blue, sometimes they purple, sometimes green, sometimes orange. They like colour. And I think that um, CBE not producing this site in, in colour is a major drawback for the target archers. And that's what we're aiming at here is target archers. Hunters are not going to be generally buying this site. So this is, this is the site here and this is what it comes with. So it comes with the little tapes like the CBE there for that's metal sight tapes um, and also comes with the paper sight tapes. So the metal ones so the metal ones just screw onto the side there or onto the side here. So you can replace your standard um, numbers, the 0, 5 to um, distance markers. It's got two positions there to move it up or down. Now the quick adjustment. Press this and it's um, quite firm. You can see like I'm pushing that and now I can move it. So I push that. It's very firm. You know, you've really got to... It's not a easy movement. Um, there's no travel so it's completely solid the way it fixes into the sight block here um, and we'll get to this little thing here in a second how this works so it's a six inch extender bar I think that's a bit of disappointment 
I think a lot of target archers, some will want the nine inch extender bar, and I'm gonna say for my shop, nine inch is more popular than six. However, six is becoming more popular. But for me, nine inches still outsells six, probably three to one in a ratio. So this system here is nice. The movement um, is definitely not as quick as on the old Vertex. You can kind of see that, well, it doesn't feel as quick. It feels harder to move. So um, I'm gonna say the movement feels very similar to the XL as far as up and down. Um, the left and right adjustment, it doesn't have the locking feature anymore. They've changed that. It's just two bars there. Um, it moves across nice. It's a very simple kind of system. You'll see this on many sites. It's just the two bars and a ratchet in the middle. Now, what they've done, you can detach this sight scope now. Um, so you just loosen that screw there and this pulls out and it's got a locking feature just there so you can replace it. I don't think it's as nice as the XL, which I'll go and show you how that works in a sec. But overall, I think the sight's quite functional. Um, how it bolts onto the bow. So carbon bar, it's a very light plate. Kind of feels like carbon, but it's metal. Um, I would have preferred if they put a, um, on the bottom, if they put a bull bearing in the bottom, so it kind of clicks in place. And there's little holes there on the bottom. So I would have preferred a bull bearing in the bottom. So and then when you move this in, it actually clicks into their set position. So I would have preferred that. The side itself, um, you can do your left and right through those two screws. Your third axis. I have no idea how to do your third axis. Third axis is when you move your sight like that. So, oh, I see how they're doing it. Sorry, those two screws there is your third axis. So that pivots the sight left or right. Um, Overall, look, I think the sight's fine. I kind of think the old um, Vertex actually looks better than this, but I mean, leave your comments below. The quick adjustment is good. Let's just try and move it. Let's say that's 50 and let's move it up to where 18 would be. You can see it's faster to do. And then you'd have a micro adjustment to do the little last bit of the end. The side pins are quite clear on the side there. Um, to make the adjust to make your little markings um, So some things that Excel have that this doesn't um, or it doesn't yet excel has got the ability to fit a magnifier in here so you can read out the um, Site markings a bit clearer. That's a good feature. I'm gonna say probably about a third of people will use the magnifier will buy the magnifier um, But overall it's not bad now when comparing products, price to me is right up there. And I thought the CBE Vertex, at the price it was, I think I had it in my shop for $450, it was $200 cheaper than the XL site. So I was like, well, it's $200 cheaper, it's, you know, it's not bad, it looked quite good, so I could kind of justify the difference. I think, I think, uh, for me anyway, this site is right up there against the XL in price now. So CBE have increased the price, or maybe they don't give me the discount they used to, I don't know. Um, but I think it's about the same price now as the XL site. So I'm gonna show you the XL site um, to compare it. But overall, it's not a bad site. I think this would be bulletproof. I don't see anything would be going wrong loose with it. Oh, to fit the scope, you can see it's got a screw there. Um, the scope will bolt into this. Um, so you take your thread off the um, scope and you actually bolt it into there. So I'm going to show you the XL. Now for me, the XL side is the most popular target side on the market and it's kind of the biggest, the biggest target side on the market by a long shot. It comes in literally any color you can think of, teal, blue, dark blue, green, silver, pink, gold, red, purple, they do all the colors, orange, black, and that makes it really popular. Carbon bar, nine inches or six inches. Um, quick adjustment there, you push up and down. You can see it's, this, this kind of slides a lot easier than the other, you can see I'm not applying much tension to move it. 
um, to change your scope on this it's got a little grub screw on the front and then this slides straight out like that so then you can buy a new scope or a um, clout sight and use the one sight for different um, applications the other reason why you might do this if you shoot recurve you'll have this sight for the compound and then when you go to shoot recurve you just detach this and fit the recurve aperture to it um, now these things are pretty much bulletproof um, and I think the vertex the vertex is right up against this in you know if you're looking at buying a target sight so I think the vertex would have had to be cheaper than this um, and I think it's about the same now Axel's got a more expensive version of this now with this sight tape along the side which comes with the vertex so it's a metal sight tape that bolts to the side of it now that side is about a hundred dollars more than the vertex elevate so if you compare like to like you might say well the CBE is a hundred dollars cheaper than the equivalent XL um, and I'd say yes it is however I'm going to compare it to this site because I'm going to compare price to price and I think at about the same price I'm probably going to go for this one than the CBE I think um, I have had no problems I haven't had any problems with CBEs but I just I like this quick disconnect here um, I like the 9 inch bar and I like the colours. Um, so I think to me, CBE need to bring out colours, they need the 9 inch bar. And I would like the price point reduced a little bit to make it more competitive in the market, to make there be more questions about, well, oh, this is a bit more expensive, but it's got all the same features. That's what. So when this is up against this, I want this one to be a little bit cheaper and go, well, this has got all the features that this has got, but it's cheaper. So now the consumer's got something to think about. Uh, at the same price, like I said, this does have the sight tapes here in metal, which is cool. Um, but, and you've got to say, well, is that the selling point? I just like it cheaper. Put drop a note down below if you've tried this site or if you've seen it in the local archery shop see what you think um, I reckon this is going to have the feature here for the see here it's got little screw holes I reckon it's going to have the feature for, for a lens to go on the side here because um, it's definitely got screw holes and it's not available yet so but it I think mirrors on there would be mirrors magnifiers on the side would be a, a good thing i'm stephen Han from archery supplies enjoy your archery now when you buy an expensive target site like the cbe or the xl or shibuya or the whichever one you're buying black gold whatever you're buying in target sites i don't find it's going to improve your score a lot what it's going to give you is confidence that this thing is not going to come loose on you when you're shooting and you're not going to have to worry about it. So what you're buying is peace of mind when you're buying a top end target site. And when it comes back to shooting, it's all about the practice and the time you put in. Thanks for watching. Bye.